Hey guys, welcome back to another RuneScape 3 video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing just the giant oyster just to showcase that. If you're not already doing the giant oyster monthly event, the D&D Distractions and Diversion, uh, you really should be. Oh, just had an ambulance drive by, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so if you're not doing this event, um, you really should be taking advantage of it once a month. Um, I believe... I'll do some research. I believe it takes a quest in order to uh, unlock the ability to do this, but essentially, uh, it's located at the Wizard's Tower, so you can either teleport to Draenor and then run south from the Lodestone up here, um, otherwise, uh, easiest way is with a Wicked Hood, you can teleport to the Wizard's Tower, go to the bottom floor and just run out. So. You're going to need the diving apparatus and the fishbowl helmet in order to go down, and you cannot have any weapons equipped. And so, you'll right-click on Wizard Myrtle here, and you'll click Dive. And so now we are down here. This is the giant oyster. This is where the quest was had taken place. And essentially, I will collect last month's. I don't think I got anything good, 175k, so not the best, uh, but what you got to do is you need to gather from the seaweed here. Your, your goal is to feed the oyster, so if you gather from the tasty looking seaweed, you'll get a sea cucumber eventually after like a good 30 seconds. Um, I tend to spam click it. I believe you get faster XP drops, because if I just sit here can see how much well maybe it isn't any faster anymore no it definitely looks like you can get some extra game ticks extra XP drops if you spam click it okay so you get delicious seaweed and so that's your farming XP and then you'll run over to the fishing spot here same thing I like to spam click it now if I just leave it this is how fast it goes It might be the same. No, I see, I feel like, yeah, if you spam click, you get faster XP drops. So you're able to benefit from this more. So you get a hard clue reward from the oyster, um, and you're able to use a monthly D&D reset token in order to do this twice. So <clears throat> it's not only good money uh, if you get lucky, Yeah, so you get the, you'll get the sea cucumber, and then you'll feed the oyster. And so normally you have to wait 14 days now to check that. Um, but yeah, it's I believe it's a hard hard clue reward. So you can get dyes from this. Um, very rare, but and I've never had one. But it's also very good XP. So, um, But I'm going to reset this with the giant oyster. Giant oyster. Yes, I'm sure. I have a bunch of those from Treasure Hunter, so. And then we'll check it again. No way. Of course, it's only worth like 3 mil now. Oh, man, that could have been a die. <clears throat> so I believe that's a failed roll on a die, actually. That's unfortunate, man. Dang. Well. Again, guys, that is why you should be doing this. The backstab cape used to actually be worth something. Now it's only a couple mil. But, yeah, so definitely worth doing. Dang, that's the first uh, backstab cape I've done, or I've gotten. I, I don't, I barely do treasures, uh, treasure trails. But, yeah, rip, grats, yeah. I knew it was a failed roll. So, if anything, it was probably, I think, a Barrow's die, which is only like 100 mil. But it could have been a shadow, which is like a bill. So, ah, better luck next month. But, but yeah, by using the monthly D and D reset, I'm able to get two chances a month instead of just one. So, definitely uh, worth doing. So, anyways, uh, if you guys enjoy the video or you learned about this event feature, uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe down below. Wow. 
be getting more RuneScape 3 content out here in the coming weeks, months, and, uh... Hope everyone is doing well, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.